I understand you did several internships as a grad student at NASA. Did you ever think you'd be sitting here wearing that uniform with a mission on your schedule? Oh man, it is it is a, a true blessing and an honor to be in this position. Um, I certainly always really enjoyed all of my internships and the exposure that I got with NASA and and uh, dreamed of just being a part of the NASA mission, the NASA team, the NASA family. Um, and to be able to do so in, in this role in this way is just super exciting. You're in a business where there's a pretty long wind up from the time you're selected as a trainee until you actually get to go up. I think you started training and were selected in, in 2017. What has the anticipation been like to finally get your chance to strap into a rocket and Go up. You know, we spend a lot of time uh, preparing for this moment, and you know we spend a lot of time doing simulations and, um, for for lack of a better term, kind of pretending to do the real thing. Um, so it's 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 really exciting and really really um, cool for us to be able to actually put all of that work into practice and uh, to go up there and and see the real thing. This mission has gotten a lot of attention because you will be the first African American woman to serve on the space station. Do you see that as a barrier breaking moment or just part of a natural progression? In some ways, I think it's it's almost both, and I, and I think that is what is exciting about it is that um, we have reached this this milestone, this point in in time, um, and the reason that we are able to arrive at this time is because of the legacy of those who have come before to allow for this moment, and then also recognizing that this is a step in in the direction of a very f exciting future. Uh, so to be a part of that um, is certainly an honor, um, and. And I think that it is it is both of those things um, at once. Is it also a teachable moment, an opportunity for you to teach to not only people of color but women uh, the importance of STEM and, and all the things that you had to put in to get where you are today? Certainly for me, uh, growing up and throughout my career, um, it's been really important for me to see people who look like me or have uh, my background or similar experiences in the roles that um, I aspire to and contributing in ways that I aspire to contribute. To the extent that I'm able to do that for others, for other young girls or young people of color, um, I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity to return the favor. I understand that you're potentially on the track that would take you onto one of the upcoming moon missions. Uh, is that something you think a lot about, uh, actually walking on the moon and, and really be able to uh, leverage your expertise as a geologist? For me, as, as a geologist, a planetary scientist, um, the idea of going back to the moon as an agency and as an astronaut corps is super exciting, um, certainly for myself as an individual, but also um, as a team to, to think about the challenges and um, come up with the technologies and uh, push the bounds of the science that we can learn um, on the moon is just super exciting. Um, and I'm just, just happy to be a part of it and, and can't wait to, to be a part of that future. It, it feels to me like this is an especially exciting time to be in, in the space business. We're not only seeing missions like this by NASA, but as you know, uh, these civilian spaceships that have gone up recently. Do you get that sense that this is a, a really important time when it comes to space? Um, we are so lucky to be a part of human space flight right now in history. Uh, we have so many different types of vehicles that we're working on. As you mentioned, we are working with multiple partners, both our um, commercial partners, space SpaceX and Boeing, as well as our international partners uh, that help us participate in the International Space Station. Um, and then in addition, thinking about going to different destinations, thinking about the moon and on to Mars. And Mars is particularly close to my heart. Um, my graduate work was on Mars in particular. And so the idea of getting to uh, send people there and get boots on the ground and actually pick up those rocks um, is super exciting. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.